hi in this video we will be talking about how you can manage your uh, automate wp automatic uh, uh, process uh, your website automation process for the rss feed based so uh, so uh, here are the steps uh, to follow first uh, you need to log into your website and then go to wp automatic section and then follow my guide so here i am logged in as my dummy website and as a dashboard <clears throat> so after that i'll be going to wp automatic and then all campaigns basically the, this is a campaign section where all of uh, your campaigns uh, rss feeds uh, will be listed uh, uh, for the content uh, automation process so how you can um, like add uh, uh, a new rss feed based campaign for the new content curation process so for that click on the uh, new campaign it will load up a new page where you will be adding uh, some of the options as well as the rss feed so for example uh, i put some name like i need a news based rss feed and then after that uh, in the campaign section click on the rss uh, feed section that we are going to feed add a rss feed so make it to maximize so that uh, it will never be an ending until that uh, figure touches and so far after that uh, uh, have some rss feed and uh, so that uh, for example i copy the us news and then make it to uh, us news so by the way you can rename to any of your news and then after that click on the add post its uh, original time that's it means that uh, we are going to uh, add the post at its original post that uh, our, our rss feed uh, fetch on the original time so after that click on the these two options that we don't want to have a uh, content uh, without uh, post without content without images as well after that uh, just uh, remove these br and uh, adds tags that uh, uh, that we don't need an extra things so after that click on to make a your own uh, you can also place your own text like uh, credit uh, whatever you you need to add over here and also if you need to put your own text over here as well uh, uh, rather than the source link so you can replace uh, not the other so uh, remember these uh, the contact uh, um, matched content is a short code for um, fetching content uh, as well as uh, this source link tag is uh, for credit source linking to the original author so that uh, we are uh, telling google that this is a uh, shareable content and uh, we are crediting to the original source creator i hope it makes sense so after that uh, click on the like uh, uh, go to the this section and like images <clears throat> and uh, set featured image and after that uh, make it to strip first image that we don't want to have a repetition of the images and after that uh, in the categories tag uh, click on the uh, check mark your relevant category in my case uh, i am only want the us news so i'll be clicking on the us news and after that uh, uh, click on the skip post if already published the same title and like we don't want to have a repetition of the post and after that uh, uh, under the uh, like a link section click on the script uh, hyperlinks we don't want to have a website with the uh, content with a bunch of our uh, like uh, hyperlinks uh, so that it will kill the user experience so uh, never was the same link uh, for the just for the sake of repetition and check mark these uh, four options and after that so uh, here you can update your uh, time span like how much uh, how many time how much time Mm, you want to uh, make this uh, campaign runnable and for you like uh, uh, by default i made it for two hours so you can also make two hours days or minutes so it's up to you so after that um, uh, don't forget to click on the publish 
so let me repeat uh, the whole process again first uh, you can pick your own name to the campaign after that uh, click on the um, uh, campaign type and uh, choose the feeds and then paste over here the your rss feed and then uh, check the post at original time and these two check marks uh, as well for uh, content uh, curation as process and then here uh, carefully uh, see these uh, matched content uh, uh, script uh, like tags as well as uh, these so you can only replace this source link as well as uh, the credit so now the other things because uh, the content matched uh, tags is responsible for fetching content from rss feed and the source link is giving the uh, this source link tag is giving the rss uh, post base to the uh, like uh, to the original website linking so after that uh, by the way so you can also uh, choose your own author if you have multiple authors so you can uh, pick any of your author and here you can also make it to the, your post uh, publishable draft uh, private or pending so whatever you need and uh, these here option as well like uh, if you don't want to have a post uh, without um, like uh, uh, don't have English so you can set it and the, these are also available options as well so the most important is uh, set featured image and then stripped uh, first image like we don't want to have reputation and then uh, other most important thing is category choose the relevant category from the list uh, you have here so I'll be uh, showing you how you can uh, uh, create uh, multiple categories from the website so that uh, it can be appearing up over here so after that in a post filter uh, so check mark this post uh, skip the post if already published and then uh, under the links uh, check mark this option and these four options as well so uh, i hope it uh, it's clear now and uh, after that don't forget to click the publish and uh, if you publish you will see success message will appear up the your campaign is being published campaign published so it's published and now for just for the sake of uh, uh, to check whether the content is uh, okay for this rss sheet i'll be uh, do a quick quick run one or two times so that uh, i uh, do make sure that content is uh, okay with this rss sheet uh, uh, you don't need to uh, like uh, do uh, run every time just uh, i'll be i'll be checking uh, uh, just for the sake of uh, like a surety that this rss feed is getting uh, good quality content so uh, every two hours this campaign will run and fetch content for your website if the target website is posting a new content so i hope it makes sense and uh, if i see the post as you can see uh, a high quality image is there and text is there so it's uh, pretty much working and uh, if i can run um, a second time so you can you can uh, make your uh, update frequency so your uh, to your own so uh, this is it like um, this is the way to come uh, create a new campaign and manage so for now um, if you need uh, like uh, multiple campaigns to create so you can replicate this uh, whole process i just told you how you can create a new campaign so every time you need a new campaign rss feed based so you can just go to a new campaign and follow the steps i just told you here so how you can add like a, uh, if you want to delete uh, and update anything like you if you if you want to delete, delete it so you can click on the delete and if you want to edit and edit it if you want to a duplicate so you can make it a duplicate just to make sure if you duplicate it uh, just to surety like um, uh, you can uh, choose the relevant category and, and name of the uh, like uh, campaign so i hope it makes sense and uh, now if you click on the post section and go to the categories uh, section so here you will see all of the rs uh, your categories uh, listed over here so you can uh, manage uh, accordingly so like uh, if you need to update uh, a new cat uh, like uh, uh, to a new category just uh, make it your own like uh, for example if i need a science category or whatever like 
so whatever you need to add a category just uh, type your name and then click on the add new category so you will see the category is being listed over here so in this way uh, you can add a new category and that will be listed up over here so how you can list it uh, these categories to the menus like uh, if you can see these are the menus are listed over here so just uh, go to the appearance and then uh, menus and then the menu section and uh, you will see these uh, are the menus over here so like uh, uh, if you if you can see this is the header menu so in your case uh, you can see a different sort of thing so just uh, you need to see display location uh, you will see uh, it's a header main so uh, in your case it may be different so but the uh, idea is that how you can add the categories to the menu so just uh, uh, go to the category section and uh, uh, all categories so you will see your uh, newly updated category will be listed over here so just uh, click on the environment and then add to menu and in this way uh, if you save the menu and uh, your uh, cat newly added category will be listed over your website so if i refresh it by the way this is a just a demo site uh, just for the explanation so you will see the environment category is over the over here so i hope it makes sense and i have cleared uh, uh, the main idea how you can update your uh, rss suite and manage uh, the content curation process so that's that's it and uh, and have a good day thank you